Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhoman and today in this video we will discuss the importance of baking soda in the treatment of a kidney failure patient. When the patient's kidneys are not functioning, what happens? The waste material which is usually excreted by the kidney like ketonin, urea, potassium starts accumulating in our body. And out of all these waste material, one waste material is acid. This is not the acid which you usually feel during gastric regurgitation. This is the acid which is produced by each and every cell of our body during its metabolism. And as the kidney are non-functioning, this waste material which is produced by cells starts accumulating in our blood and as this acid accumulates in our blood, the pH of the blood goes down, the blood becomes acidic and as this acidic blood enters into the kidney, it causes further damage to the kidney and level of ketonin urea start increasing with the high pace. We have to control this condition and this condition is known as metabolic acidosis. To control this condition of metabolic acidosis, all kidney failure patients are advised to take sodium bicarbonate which is also known as baking soda because baking soda work like a buffer. When a patient of kidney failure takes baking soda, what happens? It enters into the blood and neutralizes the acid which is present in the body because we can't excrete this acid through kidney because kidney are not functioning but we have to neutralize because if we don't do neutralization of this acid in the body this acid will cause further complications so all kidney failure patients are advised to take baking soda on a regular basis there is a test also which is available to check the amount of bicarbonate ion in our body and that is serum bicarbonate test when a patient of kidney failure comes to the clinic for the treatment we usually perform KFT and serum bicarbonate test simultaneously because we have to check the amount of acid present in the blood because we have to neutralize that particular acid because if we fail to neutralize that particular acid it will fall cause further damage to the kidney and as the damage of the kidney increases the level of creatinine and urea increases now the question arises how much amount of baking soda can be given to a kidney failure patient now the amount of baking soda can be decided on the level of bicarbonate ion present in your blood for that we have to go for serum bicarbonate test and the normal values of serum bicarbonates are 22 to 29 and if the level of serum bicarbonate comes around 16 which is very lower than the normal range we can go for 2 gram of baking soda or we can say sodium bicarbonate thrice a day just to cover up the remaining values of the bicarbonate in the blood and if the level comes around 18 we can go for 1 gram of baking soda thrice a day and if the level comes much upper on the normal side like around 22 21 we can go for 500 milligram of baking soda thrice a day this will help the patient to cover up the bicarbonate ion in the blood because bicarbonates are necessary because if the level of the bicarbonates goes lower than the normal range it causes metabolic acidosis and metabolic acidosis causes further damage to the kidney and as the damage of the kidney happens the level of vitamin urea increases now there is few food item which is, has to be avoided just to control the bicarbonate ion in the blood and that is citrus fruits all kind of citrus sour food has to be avoided because all these food items contain ascorbic acids or ac acetic acid or citric acid and all this acid will cause further lower down of the bicarbonate ion in the blood so all kind of citrus food like oranges mango grapes berries and vinegar uh, has to be avoided because they all are acid now the question arises is this sodium bicarbonate or baking soda safe for kidney failure patient the answer is yes any kidney failure patient can take sodium bicarbonate or baking soda in a right amount as i told you earlier depending on the level of the serum bicarbonate present in the blood and if the patient of kidney failure fails to consume this uh, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, what will happen? This will accelerate the condition of metabolic acidosis and this will cause the further complication in the life of a kidney failure patient. So it's very essential for a kidney failure patient to consume sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. Now I hope you have understand the importance of baking soda in the treatment of a kidney failure patient. If you have any kind of question query regarding kidney failure, you can simply call on the number given below. 
you can send your reports via whatsapp email on the details given below and as our doctors examine those reports they will revert you back and as per the suggestion of the doctor you can start with the kidney function research and treatment the best part of kidney function research and treatment is that you can see the changes in your reports in the level of creatinine and urea within a time span of one month now I'm leaving you with the reports of few kidney failure patients. You can examine yourself how the kidney function dissociation treatment works on a patient. Mm -hmm.